Are you ready for some Jersey? Well, we've got Jersey. The zipper was made here. The light bulb was made here. The color television calls the Garden State home. Everybody wants to know about New Jersey. Sandy beaches, beautiful cities. We even have the Jersey Turnpike. Inventors, music, the movies. You need an exit? We got them too. You want Jersey? This is Jersey. Welcome back to This is Jersey. I have Shannon here to talk about how do you raise money for a theater like this. Tell me, you're in charge of development here. We are. Um, Count Basie Theater does their fundraising through major special events, through grants, and through um, uh, sponsorships in the theater. We have about 30 corporate sponsors. Sponsorships are divided into two categories. They are marketing sponsorships and distinguished guest sponsorships. A marketing sponsorship is an overall support of the theater. So are some of your supporters also advertised with the different shows? Yes, we have uh, corporate sponsors in the theater can uh, participate in an overall sponsorship of the theater, such as Galaxy Toyota. They put their posters in the lobby, they're on our email blast, they're in our Showtime advertising. But then we have advertisers and sponsors like City who will come in and they will sponsor 15 to 20 performances over the year and again will be an overall sponsor of the theater. Um, the other type of sponsor we have is a corporate um, entity may want to entertain in the theater and they're looking for less marketing but more entertaining so we'll promote them on our PowerPoint and in Showtime but to a much lesser extent than our major sponsors in the theater. What are some of the creative ways that the Count Basie has been able to sustain such a great theater? Well we have a huge granting system so that we apply for uh, national, state and local grants and that underwrites mostly our outreach programs. Um, we also will have a, we have a very large membership program. We have about 1,800 members in the theater at all different levels. We also, as I mentioned before, are corporate sponsors in the theater. And then we have major events. Um, in general, we have two major events uh, that happen every year, a June gala and a January gala. And this year, we have a third event um, we have been very lucky that the Charles Lafitte Foundation has identified the Count Basie Theater as their beneficiary of their golf outing that will take place at the end of June. And those monies, they are matching us one for one for their sponsorship dollars and donation dollars. And those dollars will go to underwrite our um, endowment for our outreach programs moving forward. Going back to our two major galas, in June, we have an annual gala that attracts about 325 people. It's usually associated with a major concert. This year, it's Hall and Oates. So we'll have cocktails on the patio, come in, have a fabulous performance, and then dinner and dancing again on the patio. That takes place in June. Um, this week we're doing something, I mean, this year we're doing something a little special. We've added a second gala performance and that's actually Nora Jones where we'll be having a champagne reception. So on June 20th, Nora Jones with the champagne reception and then on the 26th, our major gala with Hall & Oates. In January, we have a very different gala. We actually build out the stage in the theater to about row P. So our stage becomes enormous. And we do an interactive performance with our guests that attracts about 200 people. And we try and use that um, as a focus to inform people a little bit about what we're doing in the theater moving forward, because we have major plans. So you talked about the patio. Can we take a look? Unfortunately, it's not set up for all of the summer fun. We tent the patio from end of April to the end of October. And we use this for our summer entertaining. It's opened an hour before every show, but on nights like our gala, it opens up at 6.30 at night, and then we'll move into our performance and then come back. We have this entire um, patio tented, and we extend the, pen, uh, the tent, and we'll have a band. This year, it's Brian Kirk and the Jerk, so it's a little local celebrity will be our, our dance party band. 
and we'll have this catered and it will be a spectacular night. Nice. I noticed you have some of the blocks here that are sponsored. Tell me about that. Is that another this fundraiser is a, opportunity? This is a double fundraising opportunity. We sell the large bricks for 300 and the small bricks for 150 and it allows our supporters to just leave in perpetuity their message to the theater. As a gala sponsor, you're given a brick and you can say something to the theater, you can memorialize your family, or you can say something to the honorees of the night. This year, the honorees are Witham Smith and Brown, and we're very excited to have them. What do you like most about the Count Basie Theater? You know, it is the energy of the theater, to be honest. We are, while every day, and 200 nights a year, we do performances in the theater, and that's how people think of us. The reality is, is we are providing thousands of children with the opportunity to experience the arts through our outreach and educational programs. This theater is the lifeblood of Red Bank. It is a pulse and this pulse is pushing blood out through the schools and out through both um, Ocean and Monmouth counties and bringing kids here to the theater to experience the arts for the very first time in many cases. So. For me, our, while our performances are fabulous, it's what we're doing in the community and the growth that we are providing to the, to the businesses, to the schools, to our teachers. So how do your funds go to programming for the community? Our sponsors, our advertisers, um, both provide funds to the theater, and those funds go to three specific places. They go to our ongoing cultural programming, which is part of the purpose of the theater. They go secondly to the ongoing renovations of our historic theater and lastly to and mostly to our outreach programs that service our teachers that go into the classrooms and provide the, the instruments and the classroom materials for the before, during and after school programs for music, dance and performing arts. Then secondly to our outreach programs which is our bus in programs and then to our um, professional development programs where we are partnered with the Kennedy Center and we bring teachers, teaching artists into the schools to work with teachers in the uh, schools in the area to help them integrate the arts into the classroom. So our fundraising efforts really push our educational outreach programs. Thank you so much for joining us. We'll be back right after this.